Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Monday. I'm gonna do some vlogging today. Hello, Joseph. Hello. Joe went this morning to go figure out what time his appointment is today at the dentist because he has to go get a crown filled. Is it a crown filled? Or you have to get a crown in. I have to get a crown in. Yeah, he has to get a crown in from when he got Not his. Temporary root canal he's had like a temporary crown so he has to go get the real one today so he had like a later start to the day but anyway i have no idea what we're doing today i don't even have a to-do list written like normally i start the day with a to-do list i have no idea what we're gonna do today but there's a few things that we can catch up on some things that i wanted to share with you i have a little pile there of stuff that i got from target maybe i'll show you that the kids are over here having their breakfast watching bluey so i gave jackson today some pancakes with butter and syrup and he seems to be liking them and then um some banana and these are like ego pancakes they're not the best pancakes but i just whipped that together and then he's got some um cheerios there and then riley what are you eating what is that She's having a banana, some yogurt, and then we made her one egg. And then when we do eggs, um, like that's too much. So we usually like break it in half and then we'll tell her like, okay, you have to eat this pile. You don't have to eat that pile. And it kind of gets her to eat it a little bit better when it's not so overwhelming so much. So which ones are you going to eat? Those, yeah, very good. But something I did want to share with you guys that was pretty exciting. I shared it over on Instagram. I did my eyebrows, and I don't know if you guys can tell. I went to the brow bar there at Ulta. They have like a benefit brow bar, and I had been telling you guys that I wanted to finally get my eyebrows done. So what they did is a wax and a tint. Right now, these are my eyebrows with no product in it. No um, pencil, no brow gel, nothing. Like I just took the little spoolie and brushed them up. I'll put some gel in them later, but I wanted to show you guys what they look like with no product. And I freaking love it. I love it because I feel like I have so much more definition in my eyebrows. It's kind of like dyeing almost your eyebrows and just getting a little bit more color in them. So the girl told me that it should last maybe three to four weeks. She said like it'll go fading a little bit um, after the appointment, but it should last a good three to four weeks. So I am thrilled with it. I think I paid like $34 for the wax and the tint. And I'm a happy camper, so I don't know if you guys even knew that that was an option. I didn't know that that was an option until I went there and I saw like the services that they offer. I'm very pleased with that because every morning I used to have to like struggle, like how do I make my brows look somewhat decent? And now I feel like they look pretty decent even with nothing in them. So I did get a few other like skincare things and I got a brow product um, from Ulta when I went. So I'll show you guys that later when we go upstairs. But anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of coffee and then I'll show you guys what I got at Target. Jackson, why? Why? No, 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 no. Let's get you off of there. <laughs> Look what he goes straight for. I told you, that's like his favorite thing. Wow. How do you say truck? Truck. You like that guy? One, two, three. Okay, breakfast was delish. Um, a couple other things that I wanted to update you guys on. Um, first of all, that cleaning company finally came to clean our house and I was so happy. Um, I had told you guys in that other vlog where we got home and we were unpacking that they came to give us a quote or they were coming to give us a quote. But they finally came. It was a group of three ladies that came for the deep clean. So three of them showed up like around 9.15 and then they were here for a good like three and a half hours to do a good deep clean of the house. And I was just really, really happy for like a few hours until my children destroyed the house. But it was great. Like seriously, they came, they did all of the floors. So they cleaned all the floors, they mopped the floors. They did a lot of deep cleaning in my kitchen too. They totally cleaned my oven. So my oven was clean. They cleaned the microwave, they cleaned the appliances. They well, like wiped down all of the cabinet. They did all of the vacuuming and all of the floors. They also like a lot of the areas that need like a lot of attention in my house like over here this part of my stairs always gets full of dust like all the way up here there's always a ton of dust so they got rid of that they also cleaned like the baseboards they did like a thorough deep clean they cleaned all of the bathrooms like i was in heaven i i didn't know how much i needed that so i'm thrilled and i feel so grateful that we can finally do that so that was a deep clean and now we're in contact with them so they can come back every two weeks so now that we're gonna do it every two weeks um i think they're charging us 140 dollars every two weeks so it'll be 280 in total for the month but i'll get the house clean twice 
in a month and it's just like not that it's less that i have to do because some of this stuff i just i wouldn't do but now like it'll actually get done and i will feel so much happier about my house on a regular basis that was a very exciting thing that happened and then of course like of course like the same day that the tubs were clean that the bathroom was clean we put jackson to take a bath and he pooped in the tub so that was like great like i can't even have my house clean for like a few hours so he pooped in the tub the next day i was here and i had like coffee that i put on the floor and of course riley came and spilled it and there was coffee all over the floor so it's just it's just my luck like any time that i try to get the house clean then they go and they make a mess i'm very happy about that so that happened the other thing that happened i already told you guys about my eyebrows um this past weekend we finally made it to church so i was so happy we had been wanting to go to church ever since we moved up here like we've been saying for a year now like we want to find a church and that was our plan when we moved up here and then of course like the rona hit and then we weren't you know talking to anybody or going anywhere and all of that so then we just didn't go to church so now we're at a point where we feel comfortable doing that and so we went to a church we went to saturday mass so next weekend i'm going to try to make it to sunday mass but it was really nice and then after that we went to dinner so it was nice to get out and to do like normal things and like that used to be a tradition in my family like we used to go to sunday mass at night and then we'd always go to dinner so that's something that i want to try to do with the kids so we're happy we finally did that so anyway the stuff that i got at target was for the kids so let me show you that before they start going wild I have a couple other things coming my way because all of this stuff i ordered online but there, it's just not here yet. I'll tell you what's missing anyway. So, hello, Jackson Wyatt. Hello. What's up? You see shoes? So first of all, I got him some water shoes, like the ones that are kind of like the native dupes. Riley has these, but Jackson didn't have some. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to climb back in the womb? What are you trying to do? But anyway, yes, I got him these. They're in a five. They're still a little bit big on him, but they'll do for like when they're outside playing in the water table and stuff where I know that they're gonna get wet. These are great because like they have the holes, the water gets through there, they dry easily. They're like a, I don't know what material this is, but it's like the water, it's, it's a, it, they're made for water. So I got him that. I also got him, I needed some more shorts for him for like when he's playing outside. So I got him these. He has a couple other pairs of these. I think he has them in like a navy and a gray, I want to say. So I got him some in black because that's what they're going to live in in the summer. Like those, what are you doing? You're bringing me a book? You're bringing me a book? Look, it's a chipmunk. It's a chipmunk. Here, I'll put Bluey again. Okay, so got him those. And then I also got him these athletic shorts. They're a different material. These are like a cotton almost. And then these are like more of that... I don't know like basketball shorts material these these are also longer so i don't know how they're going to look on him you see like they're a little bit longer he's probably gonna look very funny wearing them i just wanted to have like easy things that i could throw on them when they want to go outside these shorts are five bucks and then these are four dollars so i'm just gonna stock up on them if they do well i'll link all of these down below for you guys too um in case you guys need like easy stuff like this for the summer so got him those then i got him just basic um t-shirts so this is just a basic white tee this one was four dollars and then this is a basic black tee and this one was also four dollars the other thing i got him was i got him a pair of sandals like water sandals so he'll have the water shoes that i have here but then the sandals that riley has them in purple i got him his in i think navy those were also just like 9.99 and just good summer outdoor shoes so i got him those and then for riley i got her a pair of these shorts these were five dollars she has them in purple and in like a mint green that has like some hearts she wore them to disney and they're like the easiest thing to throw on her so i wanted her to have a black pair too i think i got her yellow also just because they're so cute so i got that i also got her a basic just t-shirt because she doesn't have enough basic t-shirts for when she wants to go play outside so got her that one and then and then i got her this set of tank tops for some reason already like at target a lot of like the four dollar tank tops are already sold out in her size so i found this set that is like it brings two it just brings like this gray color tank and then a plain black tank and i think the set was 750 for both of them so we're just stocking up on basics right now nothing too fancy but most of what they're gonna do now that it's warming up outside is play outside on the deck play with their water table i ordered them a little playhouse that should be here 
I don't know if it's getting here sometime this week. I think it said today, but I'm not getting my hopes up because it keeps getting delayed. But I think by this week they should have that. I ordered them a playground that I'm really excited for that to get in. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I did my goals for the year, one of my goals was to save up for a swing set. And originally I was gonna get them like one of those giant swing sets, like the wooden ones. And I was like trying to save up like over a thousand bucks to try to come up with the money to give them like that big swing set. But after thinking about it, I was like, they're not at an age yet where they're gonna really be able to use that, especially like without me, because like I don't wanna have to like get them the swing set and then now I have to be the one, you know, like to get them up on the slide. Like I wanted something that I could tell them, look, go outside and play and I'll watch them from the deck. Like something easy for me that they can use. So instead of doing that big swing set, I ended up getting them a little playhouse and then a smaller toddler little slide playground set. But those, I'm gonna tell you guys, have been like, like you can't find anything anymore. Like everything is out of stock, everything is back ordered. So I had been like looking every day on Amazon, on Walmart, on like all the places to see if there was anything that I liked. And then finally they brought that playground out so I snatched it up as soon as like I saw the listing because they are selling out like crazy but if you guys are on the hunt for a playground or a little toddler playhouse too a lot of you guys told me that you can find used ones on like Facebook marketplace if you look on Facebook marketplace a lot of people are selling their used ones so you can save a lot of money if you find a listing um, through there yeah that's really all I wanted to share with you guys what are you doing child those are Riley's slippers you look very cute today hey Riley how are your eggs yeah, let me see how many eggs you've eaten. Let's see. Show me which eggs you eat. I didn't eat any eggs. First, I need to eat my yogurt. First, you have to eat your yogurt, and then you're going to eat which eggs? Mm, this one. Yeah. The big one. Okay, well, hurry up before it's like nighttime, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna try to see if Jackson will let me get a little bit of work done. Like I've got my computer over here. I'm trying to work on my newsletter because I didn't send it out this weekend. Not so much that it was like busy. I just, I literally just gave myself permission to not do so much work. Like I was like, let me just take it easy this weekend. Let me just spend some more family time. I gave myself a break this weekend, but today I wanna send it out. If you guys haven't signed up to the newsletter, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. It's always there. It says sign up for my newsletter, I think. Um, this is what it looks like in case you guys haven't signed up and you have no idea what I'm talking about so i have a newsletter that i send out i'm trying to send it out either every week or at least every other week um so that twice a month you're getting something in your inbox but what i like to try to do is just like send you guys like some pictures like kind of talk about our week and then i also try to like write some kind of like um some kind of a message something thought-provoking or something that I learned that week so I always like have like a little story time up there and then I also include like anything that's worth mentioning with the kids um, anything that's really going on anything new and then I'll round up the um like the latest youtube videos in case you missed those and then i also include like some of the collages of like things that we've bought like links to some things i also always have like all of my discount codes at the bottom so if there's ever like any new discount code that i get it's always there i'm sorry is is this boring you jackson yeah it's not very important to you okay proceed with your nap how do you snore <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure he doesn't fall off the couch while I do this, but um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get much done. So anyway, that's the newsletter. I'm going to try to work on one for this week, like for me to send out later today. If there's ever anything else that you think I should include in there, let me know. Give me ideas down below in the comments. I'd be happy to maybe work on some printables, some like to-do list templates, like anything that you guys think that I can give you guys exclusive to the newsletter, let me know. I am very excited because I do have a project in the works, something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. So I have a project in the works. It's not merch because I'm sure that people will ask about merch. It's not merch. It's something that I've just wanted to do for a long time for you guys. So as soon as I announce it, the newsletter will be the first place where you guys will hear about. If you haven't signed up, sign up there. And it's always like a good thing. Like I've always said, like it's good to have a newsletter because if God forbid one day YouTube says, you know what? I don't like this Kayla girl. Let's just like kill her channel. That'll be a place where like I can go and talk to you guys and share stuff with you guys um regardless of whether or not youtube is here so that's it i'm gonna get some work done and then i'll talk to you guys later uh, maybe in five hours when riley finishes eating her eggs okay can i show you guys i put on the tv <laughs> i put on i went to youtube and i searched like underwater footage 
<laughs> and Jackson is having the best time looking at the fish. That's an eel fish? Yes. He is so happy right now. So if you're ever looking for something different, you wanna like take them to the aquarium, just turn on a video like this. <laughs> they can see all the fish. What, do you, what else do you see? I see these fish from Nemo. From Nemo? See those fish? What are they called? Those are called shiny, shiny song fish. Shiny song fish? Yes. Oh wow, interesting. What's this name? Uh, Tina? I already said Tina. Uh, Arista? All right, my newsletter is done. It's like 10.40 now, um, so I'm trying to keep the kiddos entertained. Right, is playing with all of her mermaids. Little Mermaids, the sisters of the Little Mermaid. Which one's your favorite? Which one? She switched out all of their heads, by the way. So, that's nice. Hey, Mama. Yes? Can I please go play outside? It's kind of raining, Mama. No, they're not. <laughs> it's a little bit rainy. It was raining last night, so like the deck is still all wet. You wanna put your rain boots on and like go play in the deck? Okay, go put on your rain boots. It's been a little cold, you guys. Like, I thought spring and summer was here, but this past weekend, or like the end of last week, it was like in the 50s, and I was like, what the heck? Like, this is not supposed to happen. Even though so many of you guys were like, yes, obviously it happens, you're in Virginia, and I'm just new to the party. Didn't know that it would still be cold. Here, you wanna go outside and just like play there with your rain boots? Okay, well, if you have your rain boots, you can splash and pretend muddy puddles there on the deck, okay? Only the deck, not the grass, okay? I cleaned out this area, by the way. I used to have like a million and five jackets and stuff for the kids, so now I only left like one, and I put their like hats and stuff. Not so much these, like this one I had to take out the other day because it was actually cold. But I put like the sunscreen there, and also like their caps and stuff when, when they're outside. No, 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 no. Okay, you see, so this is where it gets, it gets hard, whoa! Hey, 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 I'll let you go outside and see. But we can't go out there, okay? Because you don't have clothes on. So this is where it gets hard because usually around like 10.30, I was putting Jackson down for his first nap. But I've officially started transitioning him to one nap. So yesterday I put him down for his nap like around 12. I fed him like at 11.30. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Let's not be ugly. So yesterday I fed him at around 11.30, put him down for the nap like around 12. But you see, he's still like kind of tired, so I don't know how well this is gonna work out. But I put him down at 12, he slept for like an hour and 20 minutes, and that was the only nap he had that day. So he's kind of still used to having like a nap in the morning, but the thing is that we got to the point where I was putting him down around 10.30, he would nap for maybe an hour, and then in the afternoon, I would try putting him down for like a second nap and he would never nap. Like it got to a point where he wasn't really napping at that point anymore. So we're trying the one nap, but it gets hard for me because now I don't have like that moment in the morning where I just have to like focus on Riley. Like that's when we would do our school and stuff. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure things out, trying to figure out what this new schedule will look like. What'd you got? You got an ant on you? No, it's ant. It's the ant. You, oh, look, there is an ant on you. That's lovely. It's not it? bothering me. No? Okay, well, can be your friend then. Okay, have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna try to see if Jackson maybe wants to color. He was giving me the hardest time to get into the, um, the high chair. This isn't something that we normally do. But, I don't know, something different because he wants to go outside since Riley's out there, but I don't want him on the wet deck. So this is like when it gets a little challenging because she wants to do one thing, he cannot. So I've got to keep him entertained otherwise. <laughs> but he's trying to figure out how to use the crayon. Good job. That's actually a really good job, little dude. I think you hold the crayon better than your sister. Is that a fish? He's still watching the aquarium underwater footage over there. That's very cool, huh? He's mad at me because I put him in there. I love you. Are you coloring? It's good for him to practice scribbling though. So he'll do this for a little while. I am legit like winded from trying to get him in the high chair. Oh my God, like he is so strong. And I'm like, you're 16 months old. Like how are you stronger than me? 
between like trying to change his diaper and things like that like he was kicking himself and throwing himself backwards I finally got him in there but it took a lot of a lot of energy so i'm tired now the next thing that we've got going on i have an instacart order coming so the guy's on his way bringing that i'll put that stuff away i do want to try to get some stuff prepped and ready for the week maybe we'll spend some time in the kitchen here you never you never really know how the day is gonna go and by the way <laughs> this is riley's plate okay you can go to the bathroom you know how to do it oh okay that's it you're over it really that quickly here, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time to color. How about you color Dory? Here you go. Okay, well, guess that's a no. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks a lot, bud. Okay, they just brought the groceries. What are you trying to do? Look, Ma, there's more eggs. Yeah, there's more eggs? This time, they brought them in these giant boxes. So you should have seen me trying to get these inside the house. I pretty much, I think, broke my back, pulled a muscle trying to get this in here. But I figured that I would show you guys. These are called Danimals. These are the little smoothies. Remember that we had them in Disney? Let's, let's keep them. You wanna keep them? Yes. You like them? Yes. I got her these. I thought that she would enjoy them because they're the princesses. The little smoothies, the Danimal smoothies. They had them in Disney, so maybe that's something exciting that she can drink. No, we're not taking them out and counting them. Those are to eat. Yeah, you like that too? So I give it to me. Are you hungry? You want your lunch already? So anyway, I'll do a quick little haul here of things that are interesting. Um, because then I'll take everything to the um the kitchen. Look at this guy. This is me trying to do anything with the kids. Oh, those were the eggs. Look, Mama. I found a pineapple. Okay, you found a pineapple? Who lives in the pineapple? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob Carrot Pants. That's not his pants. Yes, it is. All right. SpongeBob Egg Pants. Hey, that's an egg. <laughs> Be very gentle with that egg. Put it back. Why? Because ah. I said so. Ah, okay, thanks. Why? Okay, so let's see what I can show you here, and then I've got to go put it away in the refrigerator and put it away because of children. I was having a craving for lemonade. This is not something that I normally buy, but I don't know. I was feeling some lemonade. What else did I get? We got our normal waffles. We got our normal puffs for the kids. I got some chips. Yeah, those are chips. These are new. I've never ordered these before, but they're lattice cut, the specially selected brand, so like fancy chips right here. Jackson wants you to see that we got some olive oil. I got red wine vinegar. And then I got wine at Aldi this time around. I think both of these bottles were like under $4.99. They were so cheap. But I needed some red wine, obviously. That is exciting. I found these Goya Maria cookies. I don't know if you guys know what these are. But if you're like Latin, then you know some grapes. But yes, I felt like I finally found some food of my people, <laughs> so I got these. I found some macaroni. That is called pasta salad. I have all some pasta. I thought that I could make this and then make like tuna also and kind of have like a tuna pasta salad. Ice cream. Yeah, I've got ice cream there. This is Moose Tracks ice cream, and I've never tried it from Aldi. Those are the flatbreads we use for the pizza. We've got milk, we've got our creamer. This creamer is actually really good. I got it last time and I didn't know if it was good, but it is. Okay, we're gonna leave the milk there, okay? okay. Let's see what we've got in this bin over here. These are some more chips. These are roasted garlic and sea salt. Those are blackberries. Yes, more fruit. Strawberries. Yes, strawberries. Got some raspberries. Yeah. And then we got some blueberries. Ooh. Look, Mama, we got some tomatoes. <laughs> Those are not tomatoes. Those are like some tortilla chips, but I saw that they had these and they were new. They were veggie and flaxseed corn tortilla and chips. Melon. Try it out. And then this is just normal stuff. So we got and our two dozen eggs. We got some carrots, yes. Here for me too. You're gonna have carrots? Yeah. Liar. Brussels sprouts. 
We got a bunch of bananas, even though the guy told me that they were all green, so we'll have to wait. We got Caesar salad. I got spinach. I got this sweet butter salad. Um, I'm gonna give that a try. Mozzarella cheese for our flatbreads when we make our pizza. Yes, got some lettuce. Then I got a bunch of taco mixes because I have like a million packs of a ground turkey in the basement, but I wanted, oh my goodness, some taco mix. And then vanilla yogurt, whole milk vanilla yogurt. This is whole milk plain yogurt for Jackson. Marinara sauce. I love marinara sauce. Okay, sure. And then I got this mild sweet Italian chicken sausage to make and then maybe give Jackson for lunch because he likes jerky and stuff. So I thought maybe I could cook that and give it to him. And then I also got these Siggy's ice, uh, not ice creams, the Siggy's yogurts. I'm gonna give those a try. So that is our weekly Aldi haul. And now I have to put away this mess that the children have made here. Mama. I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to do anything with the two of them. Like this is normally when I schedule the grocery pickups or the grocery orders so that I can put stuff away when Jackson is napping. Now that he's not doing that um in the morning, like I have to wait until noon to get anything done. Is is that how things work now? It's, it's a lot and I'm just trying to figure it out, hanging by a thread like I always am, but I still have to get some stuff done somehow, some way. There's what? What are you doing in there? You want to play inside the box? What? That's uh, lettuce. Okay, that's my wine, Jackson. Do not, do not mess with my wine. I take that very seriously. I got some cheese for the pizza. Okay, great. All right, let's get to work. Let's put all this stuff in the kitchen. All right, groceries have been put away. Riley lined up all of the princess smoothies that I have to put away. The little animals. Knew that would be a hit. Are you going to have that for lunch? Yes, come on. Let's go. This little savage over here just ate the remainder of Riley's eggs, and I gave him some raspberries. <laughs> So that was most of his lunch. You want more? That's normally what I do. Like if Riley doesn't eat her eggs, I'll either save them in a little Tupperware and give them to Jackson later in the day or the next day. I try not to waste them because Jackson loves eggs. I've got dishes to wash. It is 11.22, you guys, and I am losing it. I'm losing it today. Jackson's in a mood. You see, like, I think he's tired. Like, I don't think he can quite make it yet till 12 I, I don't know I might give him just a little bit more food and then put him down for his nap because I don't think that he's gonna last much longer okay so I'm trying to make Riley her lunch Joe yesterday cooked a bunch of chicken on the grill like we had steaks and I had him cook some chicken so that's handy because throughout the week I can reach for these and just reheat them either for Riley or for Jackson or for us like for our lunch so um so that's something we want to get back into, like doing more regularly, cooking some more protein, like during the weekend, and then having that for the week. And then Riley also said she wants fruit salad. So I'm going to make her some fruit salad, like with some strawberries and blackberries, and then see if she'll eat a couple pieces of chicken. That'll be a win for the day if she does that. Jackson, you got to be quiet because Jackson's asleep, okay? Jackson's been sleeping for like half an hour, and Riley finished her lunch, so... Now I'm going to put her in her quiet time. That way there's a moment in the day when they're both in their rooms. So I know that it's not always going to work out. But Mama, it's not raining. It's, it's not raining. When you wake up from quiet time, then we'll maybe go outside again, okay? Okay. I'm playing the grass. I'm playing the grass. Okay, but you got to be very quiet. So that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put them both down at the same time. Even if it's just like an overlap of half an hour, it still does wonders for me because I have a chance to maybe go get dressed or get a little work done. So that's what we're going to do now. It's going to come in here. She's going to do quiet time. Light yeah. on? Do you want the light on or off? On. On? Okay, I'm going to turn on this one over here. I don't like it off. There. Is that good? Okay, so she gets in her bed and she has her iPad and she watches... Her iPad and she relaxes and she rests. If she's tired, she can close her eyes. She does quiet time, okay? I'll come get you when it's done, okay? Okay, you can leave the door open. Do you want the sound machine on or off? Off. Okay. Turn off her sound machine. All right, I'll leave the door open. I'll come get you when it's time, okay? You can leave the door open and light on. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. 
See you later. Okay, so I wanted to get dressed today, but then I realized like, I don't have anything to wear. I'm not going anywhere. It's like this weird kind of cold outside, like rainy. I don't know what to wear. So this is the extent of me getting dressed for you guys today. I'm getting that like itch to go shopping for clothes because you guys should have seen me. I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn off the TV here. You guys should have seen me trying to get dressed for church this weekend. I had nothing to wear that was like church appropriate like half of my closet is just like sweatpants and t-shirts or like super special occasion so it was hard to get dressed for church so i need some clothes now that we're gonna be going to church more regularly i need some church clothes and just some more like springy clothes so i'm probably gonna go to um target one of these days maybe like after joe gets home from work or when he's done working and stuff see if i pick up some new things so stay tuned for that but now that the kids are down let me show you guys what i got at ulta my bathroom is a mess <laughs> and i've got things look this thing doesn't close like this is the real life you guys so let me get everything i'll take it over there to the bed and i'll show you okay so when i went to go do my eyebrows that day they had like a 30 percent off sale like a lot of stuff was like 30 percent off 20 percent off they're having like their spring sale so i took advantage first of all not ulta related i just put this on my lips this is what i'm wearing these are the color stay satin inks i've i got like a bunch of different colors and i have liked these so a little update on these i think i've shared them before um i did like it this one is in your majesty that's the shade it kind of goes on like really wet and then it goes kind of mattifying it's not totally matte but it's not as like liquidy as this one this is the little stash um i left everything like i put everything back in its packaging so that you guys could see like what to look for if you go like to the store if you're looking so first thing i'm trying to get into skincare more now that i'm 30 now that i've got a bunch of wrinkles and i'm just trying to get into that it's never been my thing ever i've been very basic i've shared that with you guys before in the past my skincare is really hasn't been very existent like i'll take off my makeup with like my cellar water sometimes and that's been about it that very sensitive skin and everything breaks me out i did try the function of beauty skincare stuff their stuff is good like it's good i would still use it i'm actually keeping the cleanser in my bathroom like in not in my bathroom obviously in my bathroom in my shower in case like i'm ever just like washing my face in the shower i can use that cleanser sometimes i'll use the serum their stuff is good has never broken me out so i do still like that stuff but i wanted to try some new things i grabbed the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser I'm gonna wash my face at the very least at night with this I'm gonna try to get into like washing my face in the morning because I know that I should but I'm not very good at it so pick this up not very expensive either so what I've been doing at night in terms of skincare is first I've been going in with this that I'll show you in a second and then I'll again cleanse with this after this but first things first I take off my makeup with this Clinique take the day off um makeup removing balm or something like that i have loved this i have never used like consistently any kind of like makeup removing balm i think once upon a time ago i tried maybe an it cosmetics one that i didn't really love my mom had told me that she heard really good things about this one and i have loved it i've used it like three times now so that's the first thing that i do at night is i like, take off my makeup with this it's kind of like dipping your hands into um like a giant chapstick thing like you just grab a little bit of this and then you put it all over your face and what i love is that you can get it like all into like your eyeballs like not into your eyeballs but all around the eye um to take off your mascara and it does not sting my eyes at all i was very scared about that i was like i'm gonna put this and then everything's gonna get irritated it's just like not worth it but it doesn't do that it's very gentle very good for sensitive skin i have loved it so much it's fragrance free which is one of the things that i was looking for so highly recommend this it's a little pricey like i splurged on this i think it was like 30 what did i pay for this did i pay full price for this yeah i think it was 31 dollars and i'm sure that there are cheaper ones if you guys know of any cheaper ones i think somebody told me that elf maybe had a cheaper one feel free to let me know which ones those are but i love it and i'm probably going to repurchase this because i think it really gets the makeup off and then i can go in after that with the cleanser and then all of my makeup is removed so been happy with those two things and i got this which i think is not a new product i just saw it since i was there in the clinique section and i thought i'd try it out this is the dramatically different hydrating jelly i wanted something that i could use on my face at night that just put some more i don't know more moisture in me i don't know so it's a little hydrating jelly it comes like this it's got the little pump i'll just put like a pump or two on my face and it's very very hydrating it's kind of kind of watery a little bit you guys can't even see that i did that for nothing 
it's not really sticky at all it's just kind of like almost watery i really like it it feels good on my skin right before bed so i'm trying that out so far i have liked it i could probably also use it in the morning but i'm just trying it at night for now i also picked up this which is an elf hydrating i don't know matt what is it called holy hydration face cream what i like about this is that it has hyaluronic acid and some peptides so it's a little tub like this and it's just like a moisturizer i haven't been ever really good at um, moisturizing my skin and now that i'm 30 i don't know if it's just that i'm 30 or now i'm in virginia in a different climate but my skin used to be like super oily and now i feel like there's times when it's very dry if i'm not moisturizing regularly i got this one to try it out i have used it once i liked it i didn't have anything bad to say about it nothing here that i got is like super fragrant so i don't have to worry about like you know irritation and just like awkward smells or anything like that so i have liked this i'm probably just gonna rotate it through like my other like face creams that sometimes i use at night and then this i grabbed and I do like it, but I was not aware of how expensive it was. So this is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Gel Cream or something. This says Boost Hydration for Smooth Skin Around the Eye Area. I got this because it was like on one of those little displays. And I thought it was going to be like 8 bucks, And I ended up paying... I ended up paying... Yeah, I ended up paying $26.49 for this. So that was very expensive. I was not planning on paying that. But I just figured I'd keep it because I don't really have any other like products for my eyes. So this one has hyaluronic acid and I just got it to just put around my eyes, you know, like to kind of help with that skin underneath my eyes. I've used it a couple times now and I've liked it. I've enjoyed it. I'll keep using that, see if I notice a difference over time with that area there. I showed you guys this at my mom's house when I got it, the Elta MD sunscreen. So this is what I'm now using for sunscreen under my makeup. I used to never do that and I know that that's awful. I know that you're supposed to use sunscreen every single day, but a lot of times I'm like, I'm just here at home. I'm not even seeing the sun. So why do I need sunscreen? For me, a lot of times when I put sunscreen under my makeup, it makes my makeup look really bad. So for years, I haven't done that, but I'm getting into it. Got this one, it goes on clear. Um, just gonna put a little bit it's like a little white cream and then it goes on clear so it's not like you have to worry about rubbing out the the white stuff i've liked this definitely recommend that and then in terms of makeup i got just a couple things first of all i got my pretty fresh foundation i love this foundation it's a ColourPop foundation it's what i'm wearing today for some reason i just really like this one and i'm in shade light 45w so i repurchased it since it was on sale this you guys I had bought the elf cc cream and i shared it with you guys i had first bought it in this shade which was not my shade it was fair 120 i think this is like the lightest shade and i did not like it it was way too light and i didn't like how it looked on my face so i was like this time around let me go and buy a different shade so i got this one that's a little bit darker you can tell it's like a little bit more peachy so I got Fair 150C, this one, and I tried it out a couple times. I still don't like it. I don't like it. Like, I bought it, and I was like, let me give this one last shot. If I don't like it after this, I'm not going to repurchase it. I wanted to like it because I know that so many people do like it, and some people say, like, it's a total dupe for the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I do not find that it is. Maybe it does work for you, but I'm not going to keep paying $14 for this. I think it was $14. Yeah, I'm not going to keep paying 14 bucks for this because I don't like it. I feel like when I wear it, you can see all of my pores and it just does not stay on very long and it kind of moves around. So these are going to go in the garbage because I don't like them. So sorry about that. But the last thing that I got was this. So this is the Benefit 24-hour brow setter. This is one of the products that the girl that was doing my eyebrows recommended um, in case I wanted something just to keep my brows in place. I am sure that there are brow products just like this that are way cheaper. So if you have any recommendations for just a brow like glue or setter or something that's just going to keep my brows in place, let me know down below but she recommended it so i figured i would try it so you see it's got like this little wand almost like a mascara wand what you use this for is just to brush the eyebrows into place so i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to do it just looking at the viewfinder but you just kind of brush your eyebrows up with it it's too far away and it kind of just acts almost like a little like hairspray action for your eyebrows if you like them a certain way i like mine like kind of brushed upwards i'm into like that fluffy eyebrow look um but whatever you just use this to keep the brows in place so i've used this a couple times i do feel like it does keep the brows up there 
it doesn't have any pigment to it it doesn't have any color so like the color right now is all my brows as this tint goes fading i'll probably have to go in more like with a pencil and kind of fill it in and even now like i might go in and fill it in a little bit make it a little darker for just a good brow setting thing i do like this but it is a little expensive i think i paid 20 something for this yeah, I think that's $24 and I'm sure that there's something from the drugstore that is cheaper. So let me know what that is. But that was my Ulta haul from the other day. Okay, so I just threw my hair up really quick because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it the other way. Um, Jackson's already awake, you guys. So it is 12.58 now. I think he slept for a little short of an hour and 15 minutes. But it's not long enough. It's not long enough of a nap for me. Like, what did I get to do while he napped? Um, got to make my bed, get dressed, use the bathroom that's about it um so maybe later maybe like around four i can try putting him down for like a quiet time again in his room maybe with like a book in his crib that way um i get a little bit more of a break and i can do something else but let me take all my things downstairs and then i'll come back up and get him and get riley out of quiet time but you see riley's only been up there for i don't even think she's been up there for an hour so we're working on all of that. We're working on all the timing and trying to figure out when I can put them both down so that I get a break and I can do some stuff. But it's always a work in progress. When you're readjusting their schedules, it's always a mission. I did bring down this little worksheet that I'm gonna do with Riley today. This is one of the ones that my sister made. Having me test out this like activity of um, like using Q-tips to dip into paint and then using the Q-tips on the page. So sometimes when she's testing out new products that she's gonna then sell, she'll send it to me first so that I can test it. So I'm gonna try to see if Riley wants to do that, maybe in her high chair when she gets down here. And then I need to spend some time in the kitchen like doing the things that I told you I wanted to do, like the food prepping. I'm gonna make some mahi-mahi tacos tonight for dinner. So I wanted to maybe prep out like I think the tomatoes, like whatever I'm gonna use for like the salsa. I have to open up the recipe on my phone. So we're gonna do some of that, but let me get the kiddos down here first. Okay, right, he's gonna go play in the grass. Can I see your beautiful outfit? Can you guys appreciate her outfit to go outside? Her pajamas, her rain boots, her Star Wars jacket. She's wearing a fancy necklace. She's got a bow in her hair. This is my child and I love her for it. She's still thinking cute. Okay, let's go. You can go outside in the grass for a little while, okay? And then we'll do painting when you come inside. There you go. You see? We're the pink friends. She's been playing with like the across the street neighbors. Like they have little kids. So every time that she comes outside, she wants to say hi to them. All right. I think her Okay. Are you going? Are you going in the grass or no? Yeah. We gotta hurry because Jackson's coming. I hear him. I hear him and you can't go out there, dude. I'm very sorry. We can't go out there. He's like, that is not okay, lady. It's not okay. So this is what I call I've given up for the day. He's going to be all full of water in just a few minutes because he likes to play with this car and this car is all full of rain water. But if not, he's not going to stop yelling at me. So there we go. Now he can play for a little while. Look at the little shoes. The native dupes. So those are going to be the ones that I keep in that basket over there. So anytime they want to go play outside, he can wear them. What are you doing? Don't touch that. Go play in the grass. Find a puddle to jump in. By the way, <laughs> look how long, like how tall the grass is. They have to come. I think tomorrow they're coming to mow the lawn. But yeah, it's pretty much a forest down there right now. Let's let them get some fresh air and then maybe eventually one day I can get in the kitchen and do the things that I need to do. So notice by the way that I have not eaten lunch myself. So I'm gonna make myself a quick smoothie. Where is my thing? I'm gonna use that um, Premier Protein that they had sent me um, when I worked with Premier Protein the other day. It's delicious. It's actually like legit delicious. But I don't wanna have it just like this in a cup. So I'm gonna put it in the blender with a little bit of ice and make it more of like a little milkshake smoothie situation but that's gonna be my lunch because i don't have any time for anything else and i'm still like trying to watch them because i get anxiety when they're outside and i can't like actually see them with my own eyeballs so let's make this quick riley is yelling to me that she found a bug i need to go 
see what that's about. I'm gonna drink this straight out of the blend jet, but I am gonna tell you guys that Joe pointed out to me the other day that this, like if I accidentally press the button, it's going to mix all over the place. Like it doesn't have to have the lid on in order to blend. So there is a chance that if I walk around like this and I'm not careful and I press the button, it's gonna go everywhere. Oh my God, that's so good. You found a hole? Jackson, Jackson, what are you doing? Be careful, dude. Be careful. You found a nest? It's okay, that's what birds do. All right, you guys. Let's see if you guys will be calm enough so I can drink my smoothie shake thing. I took out some magnets over there for Jackson so he can play and be entertained. He's doing animal noises, you guys. He's like an angry little thing today. Um, but we're gonna do the painting. So we're gonna do stamping with a Q-tip with colors, okay? So we're gonna see, my sister wanted to see like if the dots were the right size. So let's practice. I think this paint is a little dried off. I'm gonna show you how and then you're gonna do it, okay? Let me show you one time. So look, you're gonna go like that on all the dots, okay? Here you go. Show me how you stamp on the dots. Very good. That's like a perfect size there. So I will tell her she'll be happy. She can finish that activity, um, you know, making it so she can sell it on her store. And in the meantime, Riley's working on some good hand-eye coordination stuff. That'll keep her busy for five minutes. Good job. What color is that? Red. How do you say red in Spanish? Red and rojo. Rojo, good job. Mom, can I have some, some, some red more? Can I have some more red? I'm just red. Okay. If you need another Q-tip, you can use these, okay? Have fun. And then meanwhile, this is Jackson. I have to hide my shake because he wants to eat it. Gordo, what do you see there? One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, how does the cow go? How does a cow go? How does a cow go? <laughs> he says, I don't want to do that. Not right now. Are you sad that they weren't able to do your crown? Uh, yeah, because yeah. I'm just ready to get it over with. Yeah, Joe went and he had to come back home because, I don't know, something happened. He wasn't able to do it. It didn't fit properly. It didn't fit. Joseph, are you grumpy? Because a lot of people are saying that you're grumpy lately. <laughs> I just got a lot going on in my brain. Are you still a happy guy? I am. <laughs> He's so happy, guys. Some of the comments lately have been like, why is Joe in a bad mood or he's so grumpy? I but. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't had time to work out lately. It puts him in a bad mood. It's just a busy time. It's okay. You still love me, right? I do. It's going to be okay. I know. It will be okay. All right, very good. Just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that. What am I doing? There's screaming children everywhere today. <laughs> what is he Come doing? Here. Jackson is going to go get a haircut, by the way, today. Joe's going to take him to the ladies that cut his hair. Hey! Hey, buddy! <laughs> you wanna climb into me? <laughs> so yeah, Joe's gonna try to take him to get his hair cut, even though, I don't know, today's probably not a good day for that. What do you want? Yes, he will get through it. Yes. What do you want? What are you pointing at? He's pointing at the refrigerator. That's what he points at all day. Puffs? No? He wants something in the refrigerator. What do you want, Gordo? Let's see, what do you want? Hmm? What do you see? Why is the light in here? There's a yes, there's a lantern. There's a picture in here, right? He put it in there. Why is that in there? No? What do you want? Kiwi? What do you want? Kiwi? Kiwi? 
Chocolate? Chocolate bunny? <laughs> That's what you wanted to chocolate bunny? <laughs> That's what my son has chosen. He's not he's not a dumb guy. <gasps> oh yeah. Ooh. Chocolate bunny? <laughs> Great. So there we go at least we've got some fruit and what I do is like I'll cut it down to the size that I serve it to Riley so like Riley eats whole blueberries she has strawberries about that size you know kind of cut at least you know like in this size and then same with grapes so kind of quartered definitely not the whole grapes yet and then with Jackson if I need to grab it I'll just cut it a little bit more so that you know I don't have to worry about him choking so We've got at least a little bit of fruit for the week. That'll make my life easier come breakfast and lunchtime and all of that. Now I'm still working on my lunch, but I'm gonna sit down and try to drink it. Um, Joe's gonna take Jackson now to go cut his hair. So at least I get a little break from him and maybe I'll do Play-Doh here with Riley. What are you gonna make? I'm gonna make a star. I'm gonna make a butterfly. A butterfly? It's very beautiful. Let's do it. All right, little Miss Riley just made 10 butterfly Play-Doh cookies. So now she's gonna put them in the oven. You ready? Yeah. We gotta put on your apron though. Okay. And then I'm gonna put on my glove. Yeah, you gotta put on your glove so that way you don't get burned, okay? Okay. So it will not get hot. Wow. Here, stand up. I should have my clip. Stand up. Wow, speaking of aprons, I actually have to buy myself an apron because I keep ruining my clothes every time I cook. All right, you got your glove? Here. Where's your glove? Here. Here? All right. Yeah, get the food out of the oven so you can put your cookies in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I did grab one. She's putting them in there pretending that's an oven. She's baking the cookies. Very good. How many cookies did you make? I made ten. Very good. Are they going to be delicious? Ten delicious. Very good. And delicious. It's good. All right, it sounds like Joe is back home. I've been over here making like a crema that I'm gonna put with the tacos. It was part of the recipe, so I've got this disaster over here. I made a slaw and I made a crema. Let's see, baby Jay. Are you happy? Dada, you're back. Dada, yeah. you're back. I was making cookies with ten Play-Doh. You were cooking with ten Play-Doh. Yep. Good. <laughs> Good. 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 That's awesome. Your little bro date over there to get your hair cut. You want to see yourself, Gordo, how beautiful you are? Look. Say, wow, I'm cute. You're so cute. Good job, Dada. And yes, he went in his pajamas. He went just like that. <laughs> Super fancy. He's like, yo, yo, what's up? Here, give him a carrot or something. There you go. What you doing, little dude? Um, um. I hope you're in a better mood than you were when you left here. Mm. You are not a happy camper. Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys something that came in our P.O. box. We went to check the P.O. box the other day and we had a package from a subscriber, a follower, but she has a shop where she does these like custom portraits, like these cartoon portraits. Look how cute these are she made one of riley and she made one of jackson so i thought that they were adorable she sent them to us she had them like kind of printed on photo paper so i have to find a way to frame these but i'm gonna link her shop here like i'll put it on the screen and I'll also have her info down below in the description box this is the sweetest like seriously like i love it when you guys have small shops you guys are talented and you make stuff like this and share it with me i'm always happy 
to share those with you guys because like I mean I couldn't do this so thank you very much to her I thought that was super sweet and I'm going to frame them like I said and put them somewhere because I thought that they were adorable okay, so it's like 4 15 I really bless you I really should be cleaning up some of the stuff down here but I'm not gonna do that because I put the kids down for another quiet time I'm gonna see how Jackson does with just I don't know hanging out in his crib for a little while now I put him down like at four ish. Riley's also in her room doing quiet time. I'm gonna try to like read, maybe do some arm weights or something. Just have, even if it's just half an hour, half an hour to myself is a big deal. Maybe read, I don't know, watch some Outlander. So again, I'm just trying to play around with those sleep nap times and figure out what's gonna work for us. So have the monitor so I can watch them. I put a book in Jackson's crib with him. So he's kind of just like reading through the book flipping the pages he's not quite sleeping if he'll do that like i said even for half an hour then that'll be good because i'll get to do my own thing so let's do that i'm not gonna waste any time i might read a little bit of my risen motherhood book so let me do that and then i'll check in with you guys in a bit send me the ball you ready <laughs> hey over here over here send the ball to mama Hey, 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 go back there, we're playing ball. Three. Clean ball. Ball. Ready, leave him alone. Go, in here. There. Slam dunk. Joe's done with his workout. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing for dinner, what I ended up putting together. I made some french fries from that bag, and now I'm um, pan searing some mahi-mahi. So I've got four minutes on this side, then I'm gonna flip it over for another two minutes. I've got tortillas in there so that they get a little bit hot. And this is what I was making earlier. I made like a pico de gallo over here, and then this is a crema. And then this is supposed to be like a slaw, but I made it like with lettuce, but it's kind of got avocado in there and lime juice, so it tastes really good. So once it's all done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And there we go. So that is dinner. Very proud of that. Um, I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious because everything individually tastes delicious. So I'm gonna go and sit down and eat that, but first time making some fancy fish tacos here. Okay, you guys, so it is like almost nine o'clock. Put the kids to bed. Joe is getting all his work stuff ready for tomorrow because tomorrow he's actually going into the office. But we are done for the night. So we're gonna probably watch some 90 Day Fiance or see what we can kind of catch up on as far as TV goes and then maybe get to sleep relatively early. But um, yeah, after I last vlogged, we had like just meltdowns and then Riley got bit in the face by her brother. So Jackson bit her. Um, we're dealing with it. I, I like he's biting her all the time But like obviously you guys see in the vlogs like she gets in his face, but then he attacks her and He doesn't know but I have to find a way to let him know that that's not okay We can't bite people. We are not straight-up savages. That's what the rest of the day consisted of So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog Um, we're gonna go good night. I love you guys. I love you to pieces Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys